Breaking, Obama gets terrible news, he hates this. The new politically correct standard across the country makes it nearly impossible to pass legislation that offends Democrats. Luckily, one senator is letting liberals know that freedom beats moral outrage, and significant changes are on the way. On Tuesday Senator Lisa Murkowski, ARAC, issued a powerful message for Democrats who are clinging to every aspect of Obamacare. Murkowski said that she supports repealing Obamacare's individual insurance mandate, in what is turning out to be a tremendous boost to the GOP tax bill, according to The Hill. This is significant for multiple reasons, as she notes, including the fact that it brings freedom of choice back to the American people. Senator Murkowski's vote is crucial, as she is one of the key moderate swing votes needed to pass the bill. She stated in the Fairbanks Daily News Minor that she wants to give people additional freedoms by repealing the mandate. As it stands now, Obamacare's individual mandate may be one of the most controversial aspects of the failed health care system. Under the mandate, if one decides they don't want health insurance, they have to pay a fine. Repealing the individual mandate simply restores to people the freedom to choose, Senator Murkowski wrote. The individual mandate is viewed as a clever way to tax Americans for not buying a government service, which is unconstitutional. It is for this reason that many are against the mandate and want to at least remove that piece of the law from the Affordable Care Act, otherwise known as Obamacare. This is the perfect opportunity. She noted that this is a change she can support because it only affects that aspect of Obamacare. Senator Murkowski has made it clear that she did not want to support a full repeal of Obamacare because of the way it would restructure Medicaid and produce other unfavorable changes. Senator Murkowski voted against past repeal efforts by the GOP. In fact, her vote was one of three that defeated the skinny repeal bill last July. In her written piece, Senator Murkowski explained her concern for the average American who may not be able to afford health care. She stated that she is worried about the fact that Americans are being fined for not having the money to pay for insurance coverage. People have been forced out of the market by the high cost of insurance, with some often forced to pay a tax because the price of insurance was too high for them to afford, Senator Murkowski wrote in her piece. One of the concerns expressed by those on the left is that by eliminating the mandate, costs of premiums would increase. The Alaska senator urged her colleagues to look at stabilization plans, such as those written up by Senator Lamar Alexander, RTN, and Senator Patty Murray, D. -Wa. It is also worth noting that the Congressional Budget Office has estimated that premiums would rise about 10 percent, but markets will remain stable in almost all areas of the country. Murkowski's stance is a shift in the right direction for the American people. While she is not on board with getting rid of Obamacare entirely yet, removing the mandate is a significant first step to returning freedom back to the people of the United States.